Austin was rummaging around through his old house in search of items he held close to him during his childhood. He found his Nintendo GameCube, and he began to reminisce about all the fun games that he used to have for it. He recalled that his favorite game was Luigi's Mansion. Eager to find the game and play it, he searched for it until nightfall. Many games were found, but it was just his luck that he didn't find the one he wanted. He went back home and plugged his GameCube up to see if it even had power. It did. And not until he booted up the main screen that the GameCube plays if no disc is inserted did he realize that he actually had his old memory card in it in the front slot. Because he was longing to play the game, he checked to see if his save file for Luigi's Mansion was still there. It was, but not under the name of the game. Instead it read, Good Night, which was what it said when you died in the game. The icon of the game was still there and completely normal, so he didn't think any more of it. He went to bed and woke up the next day with an even stronger urge to play the game. He went to a local game store and asked for Luigi's Mansion. They did not have it in stock. He had the same results with every other store he checked, and it began to anger him. He then resorted to what every other person with the internet does when they want something, checking eBay. Oddly enough, there was but one person selling the game. He had posted pictures of the disc and it looked like it was in perfect condition with a few negligible scratches on the back. Austin decided to buy it and it arrived at his house several days later. Filled with anticipation to relive his childhood, he tore open the envelope and got the game out. He flipped it over to look at the back, and the scratches did not seem to be in the same position they were on in the picture online. Upon closer inspection, he almost thought the scratches made the word good night. Ignoring this, he put the game in and began to play. The main menu screen was regular, but he realized that there was only one save file instead of three, like normal. The save file was up to Area 4, which implied that he either beat the game or was close to. Something odd caught his eye before he selected the game. The boo counter that told him how many boos he had caught said 50-50, but the boo's body was gone. Only the red eyes were left, which usually only appeared on King Boo. He selected the game, only to be killed immediately. Good night, said the game, and almost say whisper. It was odd, especially because the game had never read it aloud before, or at least not that he remembered. There was a power surge, and he had to reboot his GameCube. Out of curiosity, he checked the memory card for the save file again. The icon of Luigi had a horrified face that almost looked as if he was melting. Once again, it still read, Good Night. He went back to the game and selected the only save file once more. He was immediately spun into the final boss battle, which never happened. No matter what, Luigi is always supposed to spawn in the foyer, the main room. Bowser fell from the sky like usual, but something was different. He was more demonic looking, with longer and sharper horns, and his yellowish skin was now a dark red. Bowser let out a scream and the battle began. No matter what Austin did, he was unable to evade any of Bowser's attacks. He died almost instantly. And again, the game read, Good night. In a slightly lower pitched voice. It was clear this time, and no longer a whisper. Again, his power surged. He hoped 
that it didn't happen again because if the power surges three times, it goes out. He booted the game and checked the memory card. Luigi's neck was all that was shown, and the game save read, Cursed. As much as he did not want to, he booted up the game one more time. The boo counter now had strange characters instead of numbers. Instead of 50-50, it was more like Pi, Delta, Epsilon, unrecognized characters. The red eyes were gone, and in its place was Bowser's head, bloodied and eyes sunk deep into the sockets. Austin clicked the file and began to play. It was normal this time. He spawned in the main foyer, checked his map, all the places were unlocked, but one room was dark red with the words good night on it. Words never appeared on the map, so out of curiosity he began to head there. On the very top floor he opened the door. The walls were red with blood splattered everywhere. Portraits of demonic ghosts were everywhere and one was rattling and it was the portrait that looked the most evil that Austin had ever seen. He sucked it up using the Poltergust 3000 and immediately Luigi's health drained to zero. The game screamed Good night! The power went completely out at his house, but his TV was left on. A frightening image was shown. It was him, except his face was melting and dripping down his body. He screamed and was instantly knocked to the ground. Someone was standing over him. He couldn't see as everything was a blur. Good night, it said, and Austin was knocked lifeless, slamming against the wall. Neighbors claimed to have heard a loud, almost alien-sounding scream. One neighbor was outside on his afternoon jog when he actually saw the lights go out in Austin's house. His story goes like this. The lights went completely out and then a, a flash of green shot through the windows. I heard Austin scream and panic and then thump. I went up to his house to see if I could help because it sounded like he was in danger. As I turned the doorknob, it was almost as if someone whispered, good night to me. I walked in and no one was there, only a very small disc, which looked to be a video game. It was green and had the name Luigi's Curse. I began to explore around, and that's when I found Austin, lifeless. A look of horror frozen across his face, and a scar across his forehead. I called 911, but he was pronounced dead on scene. Professionals and doctors claimed that Austin died of a heart attack. Maybe it was. And maybe it wasn't. I guess it is really up to you to decide. One puzzling factor, though, was that scar on his forehead. No one remembered him having it. But it was sure there now. His family decided that he should be cremated and his ashes kept. As he was being cremated, however, the person noticed as if, as his skin and bones began to crackle and burn. The crackling fire almost whispered, good night. <laughs>